Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom brush that's going to imitate makeup. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name's Eric Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today I'm going to show you something really, really cool. We're going to show you how to make a custom brush that's going to blend in and make it look like you're actually painting makeup onto your subject's face piece. The image we're working with today is Jerome's image. A very, very cool image. And uh, this is a winner from last week's contest. He won a Flurn Pro and having his image edited here on Flurn.com. So if you guys want your images edited here on Flurn, just submit it in our weekly contest, which is uh, every single Monday we have a contest. Okay, we've got a very cool image. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is kind of evening out some of this eye makeup. Now, I think it was done on purpose in this way. So I'm not trying to knock at the makeup artist or anything like that. It's just a good opportunity to show you guys um, some cool things you can do with uh, smoothing this sort of thing out. So there are a couple ways in which you can smooth this, or, um, if you, in which you can smooth this out. Let's just grab a regular brush, and I'll kind of go over the principle in which uh, we're going to be discussing today. Basically, you can see it's a little bit splotchy looking. It's you know dark over here, then kind of a light transition, things like that. So if you wanted to smooth that out, um, you could use something like a brush tool and just kind of sample some colors and start painting in. And there we go hold alter option to bring your um, to grab your sample eyedropper and there we go just by painting this in we can kind of smooth these smooth these areas out and uh, you know have something that looks like it's um, just a bit more smooth so I'll just turn that off and on we can see it does look more smooth but the problem comes in that there's actually like a quite a bit of texture going on here we can see the there's a really nice texture in, um, you know, not just the eyeshadow, but in the cheeks and the blush and things like that. And by just grabbing a regular brush tool, you kind of destroy that texture, which is not what we want to do. We want to be able to preserve that texture and maybe even add texture of our own. So what we're going to do is create a custom brush that's going to allow us to do it. So let's just um, hit F a couple times and you want to create a new document. So whenever you're creating a custom brush, create a new document. So we're going to go file new. And then I always choose 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Makes a very large brush and uh, it's gonna be useful for a lot of situations. I've actually already created it. So instead of hitting okay, I'm gonna hit escape. Now, this is the brush that we're gonna make today and it's not really that big of a deal. On a background layer, you just wanna grab, um, start just painting black in a bunch of dots. So we'll just add a couple of them to this. So just grab a black uh, brush and start painting a couple dots. And you want some um, maybe larger dots towards the center and uh, we'll get a couple smaller dots towards the outside. There we go. So some dots and um, we're looking pretty good. This is going to be the making of our brush. Now what we're going to do is go to edit and then down here to define brush preset. Okay. And we're going to call this um, makeup dots, sorry, one. Okay, so we have our makeup dots one brush, and you can see it de defaults. My brush um, already defaults to the makeup dots one. If I line it up, you can see anything that's dark on this um, on this layer will be turned into the brush. White will become transparent. So now let's go back to our other document, and we're going to see a 500 pixel brush is relatively big. So even if this were like very very close with a lot of detail, you'd still be able to use this brush. So just kind of painting around. Still not right. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and make this a bit smaller. Let's create a new layer and see what this looks like. So painting over and over again. I'm just clicking and holding this down. And we can see it just looks like it's repeating. That dot's visible there and there and there. It's just repeating over and over again. So there are a couple things we got to do to make it not look like it's just done in Photoshop, repeating like that. We're going to go to Window and then down here to Brush. And along comes our custom settings for our brush. So the first thing I wanted to click on is shape dynamics. We're going to turn that on and my size jitter, I want to turn all the way up. This is going to make some of these dots smaller and some of them larger. So as I paint, we can see it's already looking quite a bit more variable. Some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. Our minimum diameter, I'm going to turn up to about 26. I don't want like tiny little dots, uh, but I don't want them all to be the same size. So something right about there is um, it's just going to give us a really nice result. Now the next thing I want to do is right now it's still creating like you know the pattern just repeated over and over again. We're going to turn our angle jitter all the way up, and that's going to make it really unrecognizable that it's the same pattern because each time I um, each time it lays down this pattern, it's going to be rotated around in a totally random way. So um, as we paint this around, now we can see it starts to look really random, and I'm just kind of painting back and forth on this, 
it's really quite a random pattern and it does look like something that maybe is generated out of you know nature you know actually like painting rather than some brush that was just made in photoshop it's just a random speckling of dots which is really nice okay so that's all we really need there um, let's go ahead and close that out and uh, we're going to save this brush in a second and um, well first we need to just see if it's going to work so let's just delete that layer and uh, we'll create a new layer just kind of zoom in so now what our goal is, let's just turn that layer off, is to make our brush uh, basically dictate uh, what's going on here. So we're gonna use the same technique, it's just a different brush. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample our colors. So we'll sample a dark color there and just start painting in. There we go, let's make our brush maybe a little bit larger. And here we go. And as I paint, what's, what we're doing is we're actually laying down this different colors but we're doing it in a way, let's make our brush a little bit bigger. We're doing it in a way that is gonna look as though everything is blending in because what we're doing is we're laying down actually like tiny little dots. Make our brush a little bit smaller. It's just gonna, um, depending on how large or small your brush is, it's gonna be how large or small those dots are. There we go. So what we're doing is actually painting in little tiny dots over and over again. And it's just gonna result in a pattern that's gonna look a lot more natural. It's gonna look like, you know, it was actually done with makeup because, you know, that's like eyeshadow and things like that. That actually is um, lots of tiny little dots of, of makeup that kind of combine together for the, uh, for the effect. So what we're doing is basically imitating uh, the real makeup that actually exists in the photo, which um, I think is just really, really cool. So I'm gonna to continue to paint on that. We can see I'm smoothed out the right side and uh, we can go here on the left side. And you can start to have fun with it. Um, this is really the time to have fun. Don't feel like you know there are any rules or whatever because it's really not. I mean, there are, you know, this is, it's art just like anything else. All right, there we go. So sampling the blue and kind of painting down and then we'll just sample the skin color and kind of paint up. So you can see it's a really nice way to just kind of like blend everything together. If I wanted to bring in, let's just turn this off and off so we can see what we've done. Um, it doesn't look incredibly, you know, it doesn't look that photoshoppy, but we really have done quite a bit. Um, if I wanted to lower the opacity, we could do that too. Let's just try bringing maybe a lighter color up there. Very cool. All right, so we can see all that was done with this cool custom brush that we made. Let's say we go ahead and save this brush. We like this brush and all those settings that we put like the size jitter and the angle jitter, we want those to be solid. So um, we're gonna go to window down here to brush and I'm gonna click right over here and go to new brush preset. And this is just gonna save it and we'll call this um, eye makeup brush. Eye makeup brush. So whenever I want this brush back, all I have to do is go to my brush tool, right click and go all the way to the bottom. And here we have, if I just click go right over there, I make a brush. All right, and this will bring us exactly back to this brush with all the settings included. Now, I did paint over um, things like the eyebrows, and the reason I did is because I wanted it to be like a nice smooth uh, paint, but we don't want this obviously to be visible over the eyebrows in the final. So we're gonna put a layer mask over that. I'm just gonna choose now a regular brush, and um, we're gonna paint black on our layer mask right where our eyebrows are. And that's just gonna make sure that, you know, our eye makeup does not come on over top of the, uh, <laughs> over top of our eyebrows. That just wouldn't happen. All right, and it did cover the eyelashes a little bit here, so we're gonna paint that. But you can see all those like little dots, and things like that, they look much more natural than something that, you know, if you were just grab a regular Photoshop and start, start painting things in. All right, let's make that more visible as well. Very cool. So we can see just by painting those in, we've got a much more natural looking um, paint job on the eyelashes, on the eyeshadow. Now, if it's too well defined, if this is something where it's like you can actually see too much detail in the dots, it's not a big deal. Just click on your layer, go to filter, blur, and then down here to Gaussian blur and just give it a slight blur, like a 0.2 or 0.3 pixels, and that's gonna start to really blend in. So here we have our before, it looks a little bit blotchy, and here the after, you can see it's smoothed up, and I kind of took my liberty, just kind of really went <laughs> a little bit crazy with that. Um, I went a little past smoothing with you know what's going on here and things like that. You could always mask that out if you wanted to do that. Here's your layer mask, you can just, you know, you can start to layer mask things out and just make it like smooth where you want it to. Like if I want to just smooth that area out 
and not kind of like bring it out, I could do that, or I can just mask it back in. Whatever you guys want to do, um, it's going to be totally up to you in that case. But I think it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get those type of effects in your image that really, you know, I think if I were to show a couple people this, I don't think they would assume this eye makeup was done in Photoshop. Um, it really, really does look like it was actually done. The majority of it was done in camera, um, but then we did still quite a bit to it in Photoshop. But just because we used that brush doesn't look like it. All right, guys, and that is the end of the episode. I hope you learned a lot, and um, we're gonna include the brush right down below so you guys can paint around with this brush and have a lot of fun with it. I wanna see your guys' results. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. I'll Flurn you later. Bye, guys. Now you can fire your makeup artist. No, just kidding, don't do that. <laughs>